much I love those centaurs. Hey everyone, it's me, Ex-Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll-related videos almost every single day. And today's video I'm so excited about because it is another 112 scale art BJD from China. You guys know I am completely in love with these dolls. I have been so excited about all the new releases. I'm a bit behind on them. And this is a line that actually is about to get a series two, I believe next month. So make sure you check out Kika Goods who kindly sent me the series one of the Bonnie dolls so that I could tell you guys about series two. And I'll attach some photos of what series two looks like here. Series two looks amazing, but let's see what series one is like first. I have been long anticipating these dolls, but I ended up buying these instead, which are made by the same company. These are made by Come For Arts, which I believe Come For Free is like a division of Come For Arts. I'm not 100% sure. And these are the Polaris Animal Rescue Society dolls. These are some of my all-time favorite, like, dolls in my entire collection. I think these are sold more as action figures though, but they're dolls to me. Um, and these are actually marketed as dolls. So I'm excited to see what the big difference in these is. And I'm really impressed with, yeah, come for arts right there. Um, I'm really impressed with the packaging and the design of it. Like, isn't this so cute? And you can see all of our different characters. Oh, it actually has it in English for me. Cool. I was just going to guess because <laughs> I um, I added them to the doll database website coming soon, dollect.net, and I'll show you that here. Hi, friends. So this is dollect.net. This website is not live yet, but it is coming soon. And this is an interactive doll database website that I founded and a team of people has been working on. But let me show you how you can find, say, the Bonnie dolls. This is a rough area here. I haven't done too much on here because I wanted to be able to open the dolls and... Um, <laughs> see all their details before I fully like finish this section but as you can see all of the different dolls in this collection are listed and once series two is more finite I can list them here too and once these are fully on the website I would be able to have them tracked in my collections you can see these are the dolls that I have added to my collection you can see the um and to the pennies box and two dolls here and you can add them to your collection. So that's what the Bonnie dolls will have eventually. Uh, so pretty cool. You also have your own little profile, which I can show you here. That also shows that. So people can see your stuff. So my collection. And there you go. So anybody looking at my profile can also see my collection. Cool. Um, just thought I'd share. This should be launching by the end of this month, if not the beginning of next month. So get excited, coming very soon. So I've been adding them to the website, so I knew all their names roughly, and there is a secret character, so maybe we'll get lucky and get the secret. I have never gotten the secret for one of these doll lines, so maybe today could be the day. All right, so let's snip the plastic wrap so that we can get into this box. I'm not actually sure what side to tackle this box from. So this is a really interesting box because each of the doll's boxes is very tall, which I wasn't expecting. I wonder if these are a slightly different scale than some of our other art BJDs. I'm not sure, uh, but this is what the individual packages look like. So if you buy the full box from Kika Goods, you're guaranteed to get it in its little shipper container, and you're guaranteed to get the full set of six, unless you do get the Mysterious Magician or whatever the secret character is, then that will replace one of your other characters. I wonder if it's a set character each time or what? I'm not sure. I've never gotten the secret. I did actually get the secret from one of my Kika Goods purchases once, but it was a figure. It was one of the secret figures, not one of the dolls, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, so let's open this up and- oh, that was so pleasant and simple. Uh, let's open this up and see what doll we got. Okay, so they are sealed. There might be a card that's- oh, well, I think we got the Street Painter. <laughs> I saw the little paintbrush. All right, so let's see our doll. So it says Bonnie, come for free. Surprised they're packaged in little bags like this. I'm used to them being packaged in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why are you so cute? I'm used to them being packaged in like a blister like this in the box, but it would probably fit more this way if I had to guess. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here is our first Bonnie doll. I love that these ones have inset eyes. My first foray with inset eyes on these art BJDs were the other Comfort Arts product that I have, these ones. So 
Um, I've been pretty excited about these ones. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So this is what their bodies look like. And I think the Series 2 dolls actually don't have feet. They have like little paws. So I'm very curious to see if I like that better. They don't have little bunny tails. And the bunny ears are a separate piece that we're going to attach later, it looks like. And then, hmm, how does this work? I don't know. Oh, okay. So interesting. I'm going to get the plastic off. The level of painted detail and the clarity and quality of the paint on these is so amazing. Like the way they've even painted the hair is just so cool. And look how they have follow me eyes. So these are similar to the fail fix dolls where the eyes don't actually move, but there's like an illusion that makes it look like they do. And that is so pretty. And unbelievably, these dolls are $20 each. And that is considering that they're imported from China and the level of detail and quality that they have, it's mind blowing that they're so inexpensive. Um, which is part of what makes me like so excited about these is not only are they just really cool conceptually and there's like so many different options springing up, but also that they're just genuinely so affordable and the affordability does not impact the actual quality of the product. So I think this might be an extra neck peg. I'm not actually sure what this is. We'll find out maybe. And then we have the ears. So the ears, are also on little joints which is incredible oh my god um and you just stick them into the beret and in this case it looks like the beret is actually part of the hair but if it is removable i will remove it but um in this particular case it looks like you gotta have the beret but that is pretty stinking cute i love how big the ears are and then we have some little shoes let's check out the little shoes oh my gosh okay but we need an outfit and these come with accessories, which is really cool because the others don't really come with extra accessories like this, like the other um, art BJDs that I'm used to. But it seems like Comfort Arts and by extension Comfort Free really like to include extra accessories. Like the Animal Rescue Society dolls or action figures, whatever you want to call them, um, they come with a lot of extra accessories, like a lot of them for the price point. Like they come with a lot. Um, so I was really shocked that these ones are $20 and also come with these really high quality material, really well painted nice accessories so this is the street painter i believe is the name that they assigned this one um street artist excuse me the street artist so she comes with a little paint palette and a paintbrush and then we have a little pamphlet so it explains some different stuff about the product so i really like that it tells you different measurements for the clothing okay so this is indeed an extra next i mean is it it kind of looks like it would be i'm not sure um cool and then it's telling you how the body is strung really really nice because they are DJDs, so they've got extra considerations and then we've got the clothing and a little character card so i'm surprised they're blind packaged inside of the box like with this i mean because there's all these accessories that tell you who you got outside of the little bag but maybe it's just part of making the unboxing experience fun and then here is the little stock image with a lot of really nice graphic design around it i love the design oh cool and then like a sketch of the body for the background that is so neat all right so now i'm gonna dress our doll in her accessories. so let's check this out i just want to see what the quality is looking like it is so unbelievable how nice the quality of these little dolls is oh my gosh the materials are fantastic look at this little vest and oh my gosh the tiny buttons wow these are awesome all right let me dress her up our doll right is now all dressed up and i probably should have shown you the articulation before i dressed her up i'll do that on the next doll um but this is what she looks like all dressed up so darling and if you're not familiar with these art toy bjds they are strung so it's a bit different than the type of articulation you're going to be used to on most other dolls that exist um so most articulation is something like you saw with the ears right like some kind of hinge joint or a ball joint but in this particular case these are strung so you can actually see there's little hooks that hold the body together and there's a string inside the body so they're a bit different to move around than other dolls but once you get used to them 
it's it, it makes sense but i recommend if you're looking into buying dolls like this and you're on the fence get one from a series that you really like or look for secondhand listings of them online somewhere so you can really just get a feel for them and see if they're the right option for you before you drop and like get an entire set like this because they're i know they're not going to be for everyone i really appreciate that these have a double jointed knee um with the little kneecap put into place. It looks really weird when it's open like that, but that's what all uh, double jointed knees will look like. Very goofy and uh, pretty easy to dress up. You do kind of have to take the head off to do so, which is strange if you're not used to doing that. The outfit is fantastic. The quality is like ridiculously good. Considering that this is an overall pretty simple outfit, they could have had it be very simple, but they didn't. They put extra effort into it and I really appreciate that. I especially love the decorative stitching like you've got it on the pants with the little pocket wait no that's not decorative is that a real pocket oh <gasps> it's a real pocket wow wow <laughs> um she can't really hold her accessories these ones don't come with extra hands it's possible they sell extra hands for them but also like there's lots of ways to buy extra hands for these dolls uh, kika goods does have options i don't know about the skin tones on these though um but there are some that come with extra hands um some other brands that come with extra hands so you might already have some in your arsenal if you've been collecting art toy bjds and then this neck joint it doesn't really say what it is for but it is a neck joint of some sort if i had to guess it's probably to put a different head on this body or to put this head on a different body not sure um <laughs> it's just for some kind of mixing and matching and yeah so that's our street art one now i'm gonna grab this one and check it out see what we got so here we go okay, i don't want to see the accessories so i'm gonna open it this way so we can just get the bag okay so here's our doll and this time we're gonna go over the articulation right when we get her out Okay, so I think this is the, not the title character here, but the title character they use on a lot of the like, listings online. I think it's this one. No, sorry, it's the hip-hop dancer. It's the hip-hop dancer. Um, that's the one I see, like, everywhere online. I don't know. Um, okay, so let's get her out of here and check out how the articulation works. So these dolls have a really impressive, also I love that they have this plastic to protect the paint. So the different painted areas, they want to make sure they don't scratch. Really appreciate that. Okay, so... The head is articulated. It's not great because that's like an attachment point, but it does actually move pretty well. I love how different the facial expression is on this one. I wouldn't really expect different whole face sculpts for different characters here, but they did that. That's really cool. Wow. Um, anyways, so now let's go over the articulation. So these dolls are mostly strong. There's a few areas that are articulated differently. So for example, this is mostly not being governed by the fact that it's strung the way that it's moving. Uh, but I'll show you how it's strung. The head is a little weird if you're not familiar with toys like this. Um, Nendoroids were my first experience with a toy like this, which are little anime figures. But anyway, the hair comes apart like this and the head pops off. And you've got like many different pieces you're working with here. It does make them highly customizable though, because you can put like this head with that hair, stuff like that. Um, this is what we're dealing with with the body. So I do think they're doing a different body for Series 2, so um, don't get too used to this one if you are investing in Series 2 but not Series 1. Uh, so the extra neck, it's definitely an extra neck joint, but as you can see, it's for something else. I don't really know what it's for. I don't think it would fit this head very well. So I don't really know. It's interesting though. Um, but you can see the little string there, there's a hook, so if you wanted to take this out, you would twist that and pop it out. And yeah, the, the bodies are really tightly strung, they're very nicely done. In my experience with Chinese art toys, I've had one that the string, like, was not done very well, and I had to, like, go in and do a couple of, like, tweaks to it, but overall, like, they're usually really well done. But they do move differently than, say, a non-strung doll. So, like, these are not strung. They move via kind of the classic doll articulation idea or action figure articulation. But these are strung. So you can see you can pull them apart and they're strings. So sometimes they won't, like, hold a pose exactly how you want them to and you kind of have to work with it. Um, and sometimes a joint can be a little bit kicky. So you can see this one. It doesn't want to hold. It's kicking back. But yeah, it's just a different way to make a doll jointed. I wonder if it's like cheaper somehow because they're able to have a lot more articulation on these dolls for a much more affordable price than most US brands are able to. I'm not really sure. What's the, I'm not familiar, like as familiar with strong dolls. My first strong dolls really were these 
uh, Chinese art toys this year, other than Monster High what, that had those elastic hips before, which are a disaster. I wonder what the reasoning is for going with this. But anyway, it's a good body. I like that it has this articulation point, but it's not very, like, useful, right? Like, because the string is so tight, I can't really use it very much. But in theory, that would be nice. And they can sit, but not super well because of the way that the body is carved. And they have a double jointed knee that actually works extremely well, even with the stringing, as you can see. Uh, there's also a twist here, which I really like, so you can hit more poses. Um, that's not always there, so I value it. The foot is also articulated, but again, something about the way it's carved and the stringing makes it where it just doesn't really function too well. But overall, compared to like all of my different art toy BJDs, these articulate just fine. Like I'm not too worried about them. Okay, so now let's put our girl back together. Sorry for taking you apart there. Um, I've also noticed, and this might just be me, these don't want to like stay together very well, the head specifically. Once it's all put together, like all three pieces, it works, but they're a little loose. It's weird. Um, okay, so that's what she looks like. I do wish that the headband and the beret and the different head accessories were separate somehow so that we could mix and match them, but anyway. Love the red eyes, love the little heart eyebrows, the little buck tooth is very cute, and I love these follow me eyes. They're pretty un like uncommon to see in dolls, which is surprising to me because they're so fun. They're so cute. Maybe maybe people find them creepy. I don't know. I find them absolutely adorable. And then I cut this earlier, but it actually has a really nice perforation for us to use, which is so appreciated. Little shoes with really nice painted detail on them. Super cute. We've got the ears with a pink gradient, which looks awesome. And then another one of those neck joints. Still not sure what that's for. And then the outfit. Oh my gosh, does that have bunny ears on it? What? It's very marching band -y. I don't know. It's supposed to be like a, I mean, it's hip hop dancer. Is this a working zipper? Oh my God, are you kidding me? <gasps> Zipper at the 112th scale. What? Wow. Um, so it has a hood, but obviously that hood is not large enough to work for her, um, which is surprising because they put so much detail into it. Like there's the little buck teeth, there's the ironed on. Is it ironed on? Yeah. This little ironed on design. There's the ears. That is really nice. I just can't believe this. Wow. The working zipper is actually mind blowing. And the skeleton on here is awesome. And then you've even got a little belt that's really through the belt loops with an elastic waist on the little pants. And look, you've got bones on one side. No, it's on both sides, I see. You've got the bones here and the little stripes down the side. These are ridiculously nice. What the heck? And then we have more little socks. Okay. So, oh, we have more. But wait, there's more. Got our instructions and... Our little card. So this is Hip Hop Dancer, which I wonder if they intended for that to be partly a pun or not. Hip Hop, it's a bunny, haha. -ha. Okay, and then she has this little radio, which this is a heavy, nice piece. Wow. This is so nice. So she has her little boom box, bunny shaped, of course. This is really substantial, heavy, nice accessory. See, how, like, look at this, all this for $20. It's amazing. All right, I'm gonna dress her up. I'll be right back. The quality of these dolls is so mind-blowing. This was actually a functioning belt, like like a real life-size belt. I had to actually like run it through there and run the extra through the belt loop. So, so nice. Oh my god. They're definitely harder to like work with like when you're trying to dress them than say a Barbie doll, just to note that. Oh my god. This is so stinking cute. I love this. Um, I wasn't sure how to put the top on. Like, I didn't want to undo the zipper because it doesn't seem like one of those zippers that's easy to undo and redo. Uh, so I actually took the head off, took the head joint off, and then put it on that way. But the zipper actually had detached itself while I was doing that. So you really, you can just, without even removing the head, put this on pretty easily. But this is what the hip hop dancer looks like. She looks amazing. I just can't believe all the detail and also the material this made out of is like really, really nice. It's one of those like sports type fabrics. It's awesome. And then this little radio. I love these. I love these. I love these. Also the, the stringing on these is extremely tight. I, 
it didn't really feel like it from their um, articulation, but when I was trying to take the neck joint off of this one, oh my god, it was giving me a lot of trouble. Alrighty, next we have box number three. I, I wanted to name who it was, but like, I don't know. We'll find out though. Okay. Oh, well, I think we might have gotten the fashion leader. So this one has a little pouch. So cute. I wonder if they all have different faces. I wasn't paying too much attention to the promo pictures because I like to be surprised. Like, I look at the pictures enough to see, like, do I like these? And then, yeah. So, okay. Let's undo our little twist tie. So we did indeed get to the fashion leader who... Ah, that's the photographer. Okay, I was like, wait, y'all have similar hairstyles. Okay, so here is our fashion leader who I imagine is just like the street fashion culmination one. I don't know. Um, oh my gosh, the little pigtails are so cute. So let's take the bangs off so we can undo that piece. And another one with red eyes. They look to actually be the same eyes as that one has. So I wonder how many of them have reused eyes. Not a big deal though. Rabbits do have red eyes. I don't think they actually do have green eyes. So uh, having doubles of the red eye is no big deal. And if it fits the character design, it fits the character design. These two actually have a similar hair color too. wonder if they're related or something. You know, I wasn't clear because none of these have names other than Bonnie, which is the name of the doll line. In theory, they could all be the same character, right? But they're not, I think, because of the eyes. I don't know. Um, this one has, similar to this one, just little oval eyebrows or teardrop-shaped eyebrows as opposed to the heart eyebrows. And yeah, I've got a bit of weirdness with the stringing there. Just, just, that's how BJDs are. Okay, now let's get in here. So we've got these shoes, which are the same sculpt as the hip hop dancer had, but they're in orange and white. I don't mind a reuse of a sculpt in a situation like this where there's no reason not to. And then the ears, it seems like all of them have the same ears. And if they're different, I would be surprised because they look identical. They're the skin tone, which is that tan color, like sandy color with a pink tip. Very cute blushing. I like it a lot. And then got our instructions and our little outfit. So why do you... That's two neck joints. This one came with an extra. What is this? <laughs> um, and then this is our little outfit. So, oh my gosh. All right. Let me dress up right Our now. fashion leader is all dressed up and this is what she looks like. This one was really difficult because for some reason... Her shirts are sewn together and are like one piece, even though they are two separate fully sewn shirts. There was no reason to make them the same. It's very weird, but there's like a stitch on both armpits, I think. I think it was the armpits that makes them one shirt. So it was actually really difficult to put on because you had to try to run the arm through both sleeve holes. Very weird. Um, and she doesn't come with a big extra accessory. She comes with this little octopus bag it has six little feet but i think it's supposed to look like an octopus i'm not sure it is extremely cute though her graphic on her shirt says come for free and then i think there's some like that's just a little gradient underneath coming down to white and it's ironed on very cute and simple and she has this little faux denim skirt like a dull gray denim it's not plasticky or anything and I really appreciate these socks because the other dolls have full-on socks and these are just little cuffs. They're meant to look like socks, but it makes it where she can actually wear her shoes. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. I really like her little pigtails. I think they're painted really well. Like I love the, I just love the way all of the paint is done on these dolls. It's so, so well done and gorgeous. And she has cute little ears. And I, I also really like this. So you can move them side to side and you can also twist them, which gives you the opportunity to move them in other ways so like it's just neat i appreciate it and because of the way the ears are constructed i don't know if this is by design but it rocks you can move them side to side or if you turn them on the joint so you can turn if i take it out i'll show you you can turn the ear on the joint and that gives you front to back you get all sorts of different types of motion isn't that so cool um, unfortunately the little poofy part inhibits the forward motion but you can see just how far back they can go really impressive really really like this one um i think my favorite so far is probably this one i really like the overall look of this one which she's the fashion leader so makes sense um but i think the outfit is definitely the best on this one i was so in disbelief at that working zipper that's awesome all right next project bonnie 
So I'm so excited. I'm so grateful that these are getting a second series. Every one of these doll brands from like Chinese art companies that I've been very impressed by has been getting a series two and I've been so excited about it. It's been so fun to see. And then, okay, well, I spoiled it again. This is my favorite one. I'm pretty sure this is the street magician. Or, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> musician, musician. The magician is the secret one. I did not get that one. This is the musician one, I believe. And I really like this one because she has a, I mean, she's green. You guys know I love green. Um, That one's green too, but I don't know. When I was looking at the photos of these online, setting up their page on Dollex, which is an interactive doll database website coming soon. Um, oh, this one has a different skin tone. Cool. Um, anyway, this was the one that really stood out to me. I was really drawn to this one. Oh, she has like white fur. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so she has a pouting face. It looks to be the same sculpt as this one, but it's painted slightly different. And she also has the red eyes. Oh, she's so cute. And I just really like her little haircut. Like, isn't she darling? And let's take a look at her. And then here is her outfit. Looks like it might just be a little dress. Look how cute that is. I think it's a dress with a little shirt over it and some little socks. And then she's got her ears, her neck joint, and her little shoes, which are Mary Jane's. And then she has a microphone and a little guitar. Okay, now it's time to dress her up. Yeah, so this one was made for me. <laughs> are you kidding? I love this dress. It's like so 60s it's so cute i love the style of dress and then there's this little sweater over top of it i honestly might just display her with the dress but i don't know i like how busy a lot of these outfits are and hers is very toned down which i super like on her but i think without this little sweater it would be a little bit too plain compared to the others i don't know but it is absolutely darling look at this dress and I love this little sweater too. I love how like off the shoulder it is. Also, she was the easiest one to dress by far. I did have to take the neck joint off to get the little dress on though. And she comes with a little microphone. She could hold it if you had a rubber band or maybe some like poster putty or something to use. And she also has a guitar, which strangely does have a little thingy for a strap, but it doesn't have a strap. So she can't hold it or have it like draped around her or anything, but she's so, so cute. I think she's my favorite one, even though she has probably the least going on. Like, her outfit is the most simple. She doesn't have as many... Well, she has two accessories, but they're not as, like, big and, like, heavy as this one. But I don't know. I think she's... I think she's my favorite. Just based on her look, she's so cute. So, so cute. I really, really like her. Also, this is my place to say this, uh, I really wish these had little tails. It seems like Comfort Arts just doesn't do tails on their Anthro characters, like... These dolls didn't have them either, but I like a good tail. I don't know. Anyway, um, you also get another neck joint, but this one's at least in a unique color. So now I have five of these neck joints that I don't really know what they're for. So, <laughs> woohoo. All right. Next we have man down, man down. Oh, look. One of them standing completely on their own there. Yeah, these do stand decently well. I do wish they come with stands. Uh, that would be nice. And interestingly, it looks like their shoes have little... I think that's for magnets. Not sure. Okay, now she's pouting over there. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to really try hard not to spoil what this one is. All right. I have no idea. We did it. Oh, okay. So this is the skater i think um because there's the skater the secret is the magician which this is not and then there's the photographer who we still haven't pulled yet so our last one is most likely the photographer i'm actually going to open both. all right so i'm going to dress this one at the same time as we dress the next one that we're going to open just because, listen, I really like dolls. <laughs> I love dolls. But dressing dolls is one of my least favorite activities. Like, I can't stand doing it. <laughs> so, you know, uh, let's just do them both at once. Okay, well, we did not get the secret one. I think the secret ones are generally seated like 1 in 100 or 1 in 144 generally. So it's not super realistic to expect them. But um, wouldn't that be so cool to do on camera? <laughs> The, oh my god, this one is so cute. I love the gradient in her hair. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's 
Also, an interesting thing about getting the secret one, like I said earlier, it actually replaces one. So if you like the full set or if you want the full set and you end up getting the secret one, it actually disrupts your set. Um, not really much to complain about though, because the secret one is like, if you didn't want the secret one, you could just sell her and I'm sure they're worth way, they're like always gonna be worth substantially more than the others. These two have the cool eye colors. This one is yellow eyes and this one is purple eyes. And everybody else except her had red eyes. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, I really like the little pouty face. So it seems like we have three different face sculpts. We've got the pouty face on these two, the open buck tooth smile on these two, and then the just kind of like neutral face on those two. I'm not sure what my favorite is. We'll see. Once they're all dressed, I think I'll be able to like for fully formulate my opinion on them. All right, let me dress these two up. I will be right back. All right, <laughs> I've dressed these two. These two were very simple. I did have to take off the neck joint for both of them though, uh, which is quite difficult to do. So I wish I did not have to do that, but it is very cool that they don't have Velcro or any kind of closure. They're more like realistic clothing, which is something that I've noticed on a lot of these Chinese art BJDs. And I don't know if I prefer it or not, but it definitely adds to the realism and overall like build quality of the dolls. So kind of neutral on it. Uh, so here are our two characters. So I've got the skater and the photographer. I really like both of them. So let's just start with the skater. I love the skateboard. This is so cool. It says Bonnie on it. It actually has like wheels, tires. Do you call them tires on skateboards? I don't know. Um, they work. As you can hear, it's not the most like pleasant, smooth uh, movement, but it's very cool and I really appreciate that they did movement at all. They really did not have to. And I mean, the doll is just so cute. So as you can see, this face sculpt, both of the ones we got with this sculpt have the little headband. So that is attached to it. And both of them have the little hearts, which um, I guess they did one like facial screening or whatever for them, but they do have different like colors. So there's a different color for the eyelashes. Let me get the other one. This one has the little band-aid, which is super cute and the different color scheme. They do actually have different skin tones a little bit. Um, so yeah, very cool. I do maybe wish that they didn't both have like the exact same hair and the exact same like piggy tails, which is interesting because the those two have totally different hairdos, right? And their faces have different screenings despite having the same like sculpt, right? And then these two, have the same situation. They have the same face, just with different colors. They have the same hair, just with different colors. And they do have different skin tones, but isn't that weird? I don't mind it necessarily, but it is an interesting choice on the designers of these part. I imagine it is a cost-cutting measure in some way. Like, they already had the designs done, and they were like, this fits, and it doesn't really take away from the designs that we had. So I don't mind it, but just thought it was interesting. So thought I would point it out. Um, and since these dolls are $20 each, which I think there's a number of reasons behind that. One, packaging is not as much of a concern. These don't have the large packaging that, say, a $20 US doll would have, which would be a 12-inch doll generally, would be quite large. Um, they don't have to worry about the shipping because these are released in China for a Chinese audience. We're just, I'm just buying an import, so um, there's less of a shipping concern. And also a big thing is I think the purchasing power of 20 US dollars, which is what I paid for these, is probably quite different than it is in China. So those are my theories on why they're priced the way that they are. But you would be surprised how much of the budget of a doll brand, specifically US doll brands, goes into the packaging. So you don't get as much quality to the actual product because they just want to make sure you purchase the product in the first place and they don't really care if you like the product enough to come back and purchase another one. That's kind of the philosophy with US dolls from multiple designers that I've talked to. That's actually a thing that companies really, really prioritize packaging which is very weird. So I've noticed with a lot of Asian doll brands, the packaging is not taken into consideration quite as much. They'll have really cool design on the packaging and stuff, but it's not the super elaborate, expensive packaging. Um, so like um, Japanese dolls and Chinese dolls, especially I've noticed this with. Um, and I, I appreciate it. Even if you leave your dolls in packaging, these sorts of, I mean, not these ones, but Japanese dolls, they, they have good enough packaging where they look fine and you just get a higher quality product, which I think is better. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, super cute. I love all the branding representing the, it's not the company. It's like the, 
the division of the company that makes these but it's very cute and this has these really nice sleeves i love the knit of the fabric this is a faux denim material which is quite nice and it's not actually hemmed it just has this protective stitch to keep it from fraying too much but it's intentionally left to fray at the bottom as per the design and then once again we have the cuffs instead of the socks i hate that half of them, over half of them actually, had full socks because it makes them so hard to put the shoes on them because they all have the same shoe, right? Like, this is the same shoe and it fits perfectly on the foot without the sock. So when the sock is on, it just makes it like extremely difficult to put the shoe on. Um, so I wish they all had the little cuff socks. It is much preferred. And these look great, love them. Same fabric as up here, just so, so cute, so wonderful. These dolls are just phenomenal. When I review them, I, I'm just like consistently blown away. Consistently blown away. Oh, and she has pink or purple eyes. And then the street photographer is so cute. I think my favorite face is probably the pouty face. I think it is so darling. Um, she has yellow eyes, which gives her a really striking look compared to the others. Um, and I really like that. It's very, very cute. Love the hair color. And I love the different colors of the hair bands and the little blue bows. And isn't she just so cute? Also, so the camera, this is actually one that seems to have changed in production because you can see that the camera straps are a lot smaller on this. I actually prefer the final product camera straps because the larger ones, I don't know, there's just a lot going on in this outfit because there's also this really cool harness thing that has these little bags that are actual little working bags, by the way. Like, look at this way cool but it's like a fully separate i've never seen an accessory like this on a doll and this is the most mind-blowing part this actually works <laughs> it's a working little buckle on this little harness thing it's so so cute and that's where she's keeping like her lens cap and all kinds of different stuff maybe film for her camera no this is a digital camera um and the digital camera is very cute too i like the the like i guess the button is meant to look like the leaves of a carrot or something super super cute and the pants are awesome. You can see like the extra just details to it. They didn't just make some simple pants out of the faux denim and call it a day. They added decorative stitching and different like extra things to the construction. There's a waistband, so, so cool. And her little t-shirt also says come for free on it. And these ones stand really well, actually, these two that I just opened. Um, I mean, all of them, in theory, have the potential to stand this well, but some of them, as I've discussed, are not strong as well as the others. So um, anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so, so much to Kika Goods for sending these to me. I am not paid in any way by Kika Goods, but um, I have a link in the description that gives you guys a discount. And I believe you're allowed to use it as many times as you want. So if you have used it before, you can still use it again. And Kika Goods is a really like cool supporter of the channel. They send these boxes for me to review about once a month um, to share with you guys, but I'm not like an affiliate with them or anything. They just... They just rock. I really love their service and I love the different products, oops, the different products that they curate on their website. So um, I highly recommend them. They are a service that I shop with quite a bit. Like I bought these ones from Kika Goods, these other ones. And I'm trying to think because I've been really excited about doing the review of these guys because, and this might be surprising because you guys know how I feel about those Centaurs by Penny's Box, but these Animal Rescue Society figures are some of my favorite dolls in my entire collection, and I think they're my favorite Chinese art dolls that I've reviewed so far. I don't know. Uh, sometimes that changes, but I find these to be, like, the most unique and interesting doll concept I've seen in a long, long time. I just think they're so cool. I think it helps that they're marketed more as action figures, so it makes them really, really stand out. Um, and just... They're so unusual and interesting, and I really love them. I think Tang is my definite favorite. Um, she is specifically so cool. But um, Arana actually has moving eyes. If you want to check out the review of these or any other Chinese art toys that I mentioned, I'll put the playlist in the description. I just, I love these. But anyway, um, I was curious about these because I was like, will I like them better than I like these? And I'm not sure. These are more par for the course compared to the other uh, Chinese art toys that I have, right? They have the similar style of hair, similar bodies. The faces and the inset eyes are awesome. I mean, these are panel inset. They're not like full inset eyes, right? Like it's just a little panel. But I really, really love the fact that they have those follow me eyes. I think they're really, really cool. I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to let it simmer for a while. I definitely think these are among my favorite of this style of Chinese RPGD. I think it's between these and the centaurs for me right now. 
Um, this one is the absolute knockout, like, standout of the line for me, even though this is probably the lamest one in terms of the accessory. I mean, they're really nice, but, you know, they're not as interesting as some of the other accessories. And her outfit is the least, like, exciting, I guess. There's less going on, but I love it. I love a really subdued, well-designed doll, and this one really, really has that going. She has this green color scheme and a really unusual color of green you don't often see, which I really like. Um, and just, I love her face too, and her red eyes, and she's just so cute. This is a really, really unique doll. Um, I think this one, and I don't know. I'm trying to pick my second favorite, but it's really close. It's probably, the, well, I don't like the hair and the headband as much. That's not, I, I prefer the ones that don't have the headband, but this one has the best outfit by far. These two definitely have the most interesting outfits to me. I think the highest quality outfits are probably these two. Um, the ones that have the most impressive detail going on are probably these two. Um, I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one as my second favorite because I just, I'm very, I really like the outfit. I love the little harness thing. I love her little photographer theme. Her design is very cute to me. Um, these are probably my top three. Um, but the, the cool thing is that you can mix and match all of these pieces really easily other than like, I can't put this face on. I mean, I wouldn't really need to put that face on a different body, but if I wanted to give this character, like this exact outfit and everything, a different face, I could just use that one. She has the same skin tone. In the same eye color and i think if you want to do like more involved customizations you definitely could the eyes seem to just be glued into place on the inside of the head you probably could just pop them right out and then i could give this face and everything the green eyes if i wanted to or i could make my own customized it seems like there's a lot um you can do with these dolls which is really exciting and uh, I think these are the best value among the Chinese art BJDs. The centaurs cost around $30, uh, and that's the Antu Dreamlike Tea Party dolls that I'm talking about, and I will link the review of them in the description. They're about $30 each, and I feel like they're a very, very good value considering how unique they are, and they have this all-new body sculpt and everything. I think for these to be taken over the edge for me, they would need to have a unique body sculpt. I don't really like that they're just on a human body. It is a really nice body. Um, I think they did a really good job on it. Um, the articulation is a bit questionable in some places. Like, very questionable, like with the chest joint. Like, why is that there if it doesn't really do a whole lot? Because it, it has the motion for sure, but it doesn't hold the pose. So at that point, why bother, you know? Um, but the second series of these dolls, I'll show you, seems to have a like special body, like a body that they made just for these that has like little paws. And I'm really excited about that one. I think that's going to be way cool. And yeah, I'm really curious about those. These ones are very unique, like their faces, their expressions and everything. And overall, their theming, the street fashion theme is very unusual for this sort of doll, I think, for just like a doll of a bunny. And I think that's really cool. But the next ones, honestly, are probably more up my alley because they're like in these big, really fun dresses. And I'm a sucker for that. It's my favorite. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of these. I think these are really, really cool, and I definitely can't wait to see what is next from Comfort Arts. This is the brand to watch. I think, um, there's a lot of Chinese art toy companies that are taking a stab at BJDs because these seem to be the hot thing to produce right now, and that is very exciting for me as someone who loves these. I love these. These are some of, like, the most exciting things. Like, even though, like, Rainbow High is my favorite doll line right now, you know, and the really cool Monster High Generation 3 and all these other really cool doll brands coming out of U.S. companies, the Chinese art toy market is what I'm really, really watching right now because they're producing some of the wildest, most interesting concepts I have ever seen, and they're doing it at, like, a really, like, alarming rate. It's because it's popular right now, and I'm very excited to continue covering those on this channel, so let me know if there's other Chinese art toys that I haven't covered yet that you would like to see me cover on this channel, um, especially if Kika Goods sells them. And yeah, make sure to check out Kika Goods. Again, thank you so much to them for um, helping make this video and supporting my other um, Chinese art toy endeavors. It is very appreciated. And yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!